Hi friends, this is your friend Dr. Praveen, the Kheti Bariwala. So we all are aware that now the hydroponic technology is becoming popular among urban population where the time and area is constrained. This technology is one of the most efficient technology for any crop production system. Hydroponic technology provide liberty to the grower for utilizing his skill to ensure better productivity. But if there is anything wrong, then there is a possibility that the whole crop is going to die or damage. Fertilizer management is one of the most important part to ensure a success of hydroponics. So today we'll learn how to design your recipe. In past video also we described how to develop your own recipe. In this video I'll elaborate how to identify the right source of fertilizer. And in this video, I'll only take up the most important nutrient that is nitrogen. If we see in our traditional farming, generally the major source of nitrogen is a urea and that is the cheapest source of a nitrogen. So considering that, most of the grower, the new growers specifically, when they enter in the hydroponics, they wonder why can't I use the the urea or urea based fertilizers. So let me elaborate why we cannot use urea or a urea based fertilizers in hydroponics. At the end of this video, you will be able to respond or satisfy some of your most critical queries like, is it advisable to use urea or a DEP as a source of nitrogen in hydroponic growing system? Whether the triple 19 fertilizer, the water soluble fertilizer, which is the most commonly used nitrogenous fertilizer in uh, hydroponic system or in, in protected cultivation, whether that is suitable for hydroponic system or not, and what is the criteria to select a hydro nitrogenous fertilizer for hydroponic growing system, and what should be the ratio between ammonical and nitrate source of a nitrogen in any hydroponic system. So let's start with why. Why nitrogenous fertilizers are, are suitable and why some of them are not suitable. So let's try to understand through different scientific ways of understanding the availability of a nitrogenous fertilizer. All the nitrogenous fertilizers are available in three different forms. One is ammonical form, another is a nitrate form and the third is amide form. So urea and urea based fertilizers are made up of amide sources. An amide source of fertilizer required hydrolysis before it's available either in the form of ammonia, ammonical, ammonical form or in the form of a nitrate. So in both the process it required to, to, to convert from amide to ammonia, ammonia to, to nitrite and nitrite to nitrate. So let's understand how this whole hydrolysis process happens in, in soil environment. The first stage of amide hydrolysis, amide fertilizer hydrolysis is the conversion of amide to ammonia which is relatively unstable compound and this conversion amide to ammonia is only possible if there is a urease enzyme present in the media. So this is only possible if there is microorganism available in the media who converts and release this urease enzyme which facilitate conversion of amide to ammonia. So in hydroponic any microbes 
or any kind of a microbes are not promoted and we try to minimize the uh, infection of any kind of a microbes whether it is a beneficial or not beneficial means uh, harmful so the process if we apply the amide source of a nitrogen so only limited quantity of amide fertilizer will convert into ammonia ammonia the nh3 is relatively unstable compound and it reacts with hydrogen and it forms ammonium which is relatively stable compound and some of the plant root they are capable of absorbing ammonical form of a nitrogen but in case of a hydroponics this possibility is relatively limited and we need to ensure nitrate source of a nitrogen for a better response of a nitrogen in hydroponics the next step of either ammonical form of a or amide form of a fertilizer hydrolysis is conversion of ammonia to nitrite which required a specific microorganism to complete this process of conversion from ammonia to nitrite so that bacteria is nitrosomonas bacteria which ensure this process of conversion from ammonia to nitrite which is really a toxic substance for the plants and it is relatively unstable and it it goes to the next step of converting nitrite to nitrate where we again required a bacteria a microorganism which is known as a nitrobacter which helps in converting nitrite to nitrate which is the available form of nitrogenous fertilizer so the hydrolysis reaction of amide or ammonical form of a fertilizer or a nitrogenous fertilizer is clearly indicating that it is not possible if those specific microorganisms are not present in any growing media these fertilizers are really good in soil because the microbes required microbes populations are really high in soil and these microbes quickly convert the amide or ammonical fertilizers into nitrate so the question whether it is possible in hydroponic system yes it is possible if you allow some of these microorganism present in your growing media which is not really advisable so we need to find out some better source of a nitrate nitrogen the hydrolysis process of ammonical and amide fertilizers are clearly indicating that the best source of a nitrogen in hydroponics is the nitrate form of fertilizers so if we see the most common fertilizer is calcium nitrate where 15.5% is the total nitrogen out of that 14.5% is a nitrate nitrogen apart from nitrate it is also supplying the calcium among the compound fertilizers like triple 19 the 18 18 18 fertilizer have the total content of 18% nitrogen out of that 9.8% is nitrate source of fertilizer apart from that when we plan our potassium source so potassium nitrate is one of the the good source for for uh, supplying potash as well as a nitrate also in this total 13% nitrogen is in the form of a nitrate and there is one another possible fertilizers which should not be considered as a source of a nitrate but we need to plan this monoammonium phosphate as a source of a phosphate but it also supplies 12% of a nitrate which is 12% 12% of a nitrogen and that too is a 100% ammonical form so 
on one hand we have seen that there are number of fertilizers which are directly either supplying a nitrate source or they are supplying ammonical form of a nitrogen so we need to find out a right balance between the quantity or the ratio of ammonical and a nitrate fertilizer at as per the thumb rule the <coughs> it says the 90% should be uh, of a nitrate source of fertilizer and around 10 to 15% is, is should be of a ammonical source of fertilizers that gives you you good result uh, in, in terms of identifying the best source of a nitrogen and managing the right balance and right proportion for your hydroponic crops. So we need to identify either of these sources or any other sources available which directly supplying a nitrate so this will ensure a good crop growth in your hydroponic system so you need to decide you need to include either of these fertilizer for your fertilizer recipe so friends hope you understand how to identify your best source of a nitrogenous fertilizer in your hydroponic crops and you need to maintain your ratio of ammonical and nitrate source of a nitrogen so this will help in designing your own recipe so you can bring down the cost of your your uh, fertilizer in your hydroponic system hope i managed to satisfy and clear some of your doubts about the fertilizer recipes and specifically identifying the nitrogen source of fertilizer so i love to have questions have queries and i would happy to satisfy whatever the queries you have regarding the nitrogen fertilizer in hydroponics so shoot your queries and i would request to subscribe my channel because I'm going to create a series where I'm going to describe how to identify the right source and right combination of different fertilizers in hydroponic crop production system. Wish you all the best for your new venture and I'm there for sharing whatever the information I have it is available for you and I would love to support you grow in your hydroponic initiative. Thank you. See you in the next video.